know him, just as you said this morning. He controls the hills, the mountains. The Lord is a respecter of nobody. You will know him just as you said this morning. Praise yes. the Lord. The Lord has done something really. My name is uh, Sister Blessing Onochugu. I'm standing here to testify the greatness of God in my life. On Saturday last week, when we had a women convention, when Baba was calling for for vow of 10,000 naira, though I don't have money, but I was just at the back there, I was like fighting with my mind. This one mind said, go. All my say, you know, you don't have anything. Don't go. Sit down there. I said, but the business that I'm doing, nothing is going on, going on at all. I said, I don't know the reason why. Even my sister that traveled abroad to buy the market. Normally, if she goes like this, sometimes I made no less than two million before she comes back. But for past three weeks, she left. Nothing happened. So the, the law said, go for it. Set and say, but you know that's not your shop. Why must you be shining for using your light to shine for another person? One might say, no, but that's where you eat. Go for it. So I remember that my husband paid money for feeding into my account. So I was like, should I use the money or not? So I just, with faith, I stood up. And as I was right now, I told God, I said, you know, I don't have this money. But I don't know how you're going to do this miracle. I think I was the second or third person, the last person to come outside. So after Baba uh, prayed for me, he quoted the book of Revelation about open door. And I claimed it. I tell you, my brethren, I got to the shop on Monday. I could not sweep my shop. Customers was just like everywhere as if they opened heaven. So the, my neighbors around, they were like, uh-uh. Auntie B, you are the one shining today. I said, yes, and I will continue shining. From that Monday to today, I have not rested in the shop. In fact, this week, I swept the shop only two times. And I've been selling as if, in fact, as never have been before. That is the doing of the Lord. That is what the Lord has done. So I wanted to, to join me to glorify the name of the Lord. Though I did not prepare for this testimony. But I believe God that I'm still coming for it. Hallelujah. Question for you because you listen to this. Doesn't she look shining? She is shining, it's manifesting. <laughs> I think the, the whole chorister should uh, you yeah, know, dress cool. like this. Uh, See the way our choristers are dressing. Hallelujah! Eh? No, this is true. Look at how choristers are dressing like a, 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 a infant uh, primary two or primary three. Hey! Then I have another fantastic. testimony. This was uh, last year. This I've been hiding the fantastic. testimony. I've told Sister Julia about the testimony. So she's been pushing me to give this testimony, but I don't really know what happened today. That was last year, November. And then October, November, I traveled to the east for a burial. When I came back during that period of Ebola or something. So when I came back, I came back with some nonsense in my body. I found out that all my body was swollen up. And the thing was so, so visible. I was like, I said, what is this? Today, stand my husband at home, refused touching me because he felt I was carrying Ebola. Hallelujah. I keep on crying unto God. I said, whenever I open up my body, from my hand all over my body was just full of it. I said, God, what is this? I said, but you know, I'm a daughter of Zion. Why must this be? So one of the prayer practice we came here, I went upstairs to see daddy. Daddy was too busy. And I was crying at his door. What I did was that, 
I had to use my body to rub at that door. I said, this is where your servant passed. And this is where he touches when he go, want to go into the office. I said, I want to claim my healing with this. People have been testifying with books. People have been testifying with so many things. But I want to testify with this door. Because I know the, the Lord is a respecter of nobody. He, if he wants to do something, he will do it when he wants to do it. Hallelujah. I rubbed my body at that door that day. From the beginning of the world to the, to the end of it. After a minute, I came down here. I even spoke to Julie. I said, Julie, I want to see that and I don't know how to see that. How what will I do? He said, I should wait now. And it's already almost after nine in the night. And it's late. I said, let me go. So I just took that faith. I went upstairs and did that thing. When I got home. Hallelujah! I said, when I got home, I went to the bathroom to take my bed. I look at my body. I could not sense any of those things in my game. See, that, that is what the Lord is doing. And that is what the Lord can do. Until death, I've never sensed that again. So, when my husband saw that the thing has cleared, so he came to me. I said, it's not like you know you will come to me. But you thought I was carrying a brother. Today, I said, me, personally, I refuse touching my children. Sister so was saying, ah, you know you're going to die now. Anybody that is carrying Ebola will die. I said, it's not my portion. That is how God gave me healing. Pray and praise the Lord. Though I am still coming back for this testimony. Because I don't like testifying unto God with empty hands. But I know if you can stand up from your seat and give glory to God for my sake, the Lord will take it. Hallelujah. see <laughs> look at that what gave this woman the sense to do that thing she believes she believes that if this man be a servant of Jesus Christ where he passes is the corridor of fire this is it and she did that thing nobody was there I don't know like the woman a barren lady when I went to preach a school lady I didn't like what she did I was in the back I drove myself that day my hand was on the window she just came and pulled my dress and then ran to the wall. She ran when she did that. I was saying, this country is full of insecurity. What's going on now? <laughs> so that, uh, I, I drove away because I, I, I felt maybe I'm not very secured. I went there another time. She was pregnant with testimony. That the soul man of God, that last time he came, he went and drew his shirt and said, God! And this woman was talking with pregnancy. 
And the two little people were surprised and said, what is a man of God shared? There's nothing in his shared to. There's nothing in his shared. Maybe it's her faith that did that thing. She believed in God that maybe this one is a servant of God. If this man is a servant of God, let me go and offend him by pulling his dress. It doesn't it look crazy for somebody to pull somebody's dress? But she did that. And this woman became something else. But you see, but I think she refused to believe that that was Ebola. Don't you think so? She believed, she refused to believe it. And then she went to God. And then God manifested. And he says about a year ago, November last year. This is another November now. She, a year. So she had been watching to see. She had been watching. It's enough. It, it, you know, even delaying this testimony, I don't know. Maybe it, it, it's God because this is enough to prove to her that it was the final healing. That was the power of God because she has not experienced it after then, since then. You know, she said the same day she went to bath. Since the same day and since that day, she has not experienced it. That is the power of God. It's not as if maybe he went and came back or something. It was the final. Yeah, that, that moment, she instantly got her healed. That, that means truly, truly the Lord heals people. Yes, sure. Very, very So sure. there is a living God. There is. That when you are dealing something with him, he knows. He's very conscious. Yes. So he's never taken on a wares. At all. What do you have to tell somebody here? That we may know him, just as you said this morning. And that is why we need to fear him the more. This is to prove the power and the presence of God in the church. It is not by flesh. It is not, it is not, this is not Apostle Edna. It is God that is in him that God is using. So is God in me? Sure. In this small body? Sure. <laughs> it is God that is working. Okay. Because God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And he has never, you know, made us to focus on him. He always focuses our attention on Christ. And that is the power of God that is working in, on him. That, you know, that's... Uh, you, you, you want to confirm that? Uh, uh, did you confirm that? That, that? That's very correct. Wow. She's saying the truth. Wow. Wow. Let's know why that woman is standing there. Sister, tell us your name and what Jesus has done for you in the church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, before I go give my testimony, there, get one music where I want to see. I better make no verse. I'm not saying I'm dog. Praise the Lord. Jesus, no detaya. Jesus, no detaya. From January to December, Jesus no day for me. Jesus no day for me. Jesus no day for me. From January to December, Jesus no day Praise the Lord. My testimony goes like this. My name is Mrs. Paulina Sunday. And they stay for number 47 for Turner's free for TV quarter. So he happened last. Scholarship. Look at scholarship. I pray. Apostle said, Man, we take the prayer serious. We have missed I take the prayer serious that they are praying. So, where school resume? What sister come with me? Say, ah, Sister, they fire you, sister. I won't see you. I say, eh. this time he say, say, tomorrow na more day. I say, yes. He say, I know just that my daughter, where they call Esther. He said, tomorrow, make her take down my sister. May I go with her for post stop? For post stop? I say, okay. He tell me the place where I go with her, that police station side. I say, okay. Then when I reach out, I tell my husband, I say, see what sister tell me for church. He say, I know the sister. I say, no, but I know her for church. So when they break, break for that day. So after the rain, I wear my picky clothes. I carry my picky go wait her for the place where we say make wait her. So we did here. The sister come. We say make her follow her. I begin to follow this sister. I begin to follow this sister. So we reach uh, before we reach seven months. After possible. The sister, the girl was to wait there. We say make her follow her. I follow the sister.
sister, we climb upstairs. I said, ah, she started up with the seven dragon office. We had our office. I begin to look at sister. I know that some people this sister see me. Not everybody I go ask her to please for God. This will not be school for me. School. So I'm going to do this here that way. Sister said, Nadi, the thing is this. So the man, the best one, the thing. The sister's open. You think the cat's money? Yes, it is. 
came out in reference to what I was going to say. My name is Jeremiah Peter from William Cooper. I came out in reference to what I was going to say that uh, about the testimony of the boy who said uh, I used the technology to run his leg. Okay, after that, the church prayed. I know the church prayed. So I was asked to go and do tests. Okay, after that, the church prayed. I know the church prayed. So I was asked to go and do tests. In my hospital. So I went to this option there. To me, I've not been doing the test, but I kind of feel that yes, I'm okay. And I've been doing some FG work which I cannot do before. So when I went to do the test, that if that the following Monday, I went to do the test as option again. I saw SS again. I said, wow, this is SS. So I come I can still do all this stuff. I showed my mom that she said, so what should we do? Say, okay, call my dad. Then my dad was still in America. I called my dad. I told my dad. My dad said, okay, when he comes, you know what to do next. I said, okay, no problem. So we've been keeping low since that day. So immediately when I saw that test, this fear now creeped me again, you know? I was like, ah, so this is the skin of my body. I stopped carrying with this for the last two weeks. The brother that gave me the testimony, he saw me, was telling me, guys, you know the big again, the what's going on? I said, I stopped lifting with you. So that was what has been going on with me until when I was went to Alpha to do a um, dedication of that building. He said something that morning, we are looking, we are looking on the um, TV screen there. He said something that gripped my heart because I always go before I hear, yeah, I know. I hear uh, anything that gives me strong faith that goes, I only go with it. So what he said, he said, um, do you know how big is your God? I was looking at the screen that day. He said, do you know how big, you don't know how big is your God? He controls the hills, the mountain, the world. He controls the world, the world is going as in he controls the earth in himself, as the earth is rotating. The earth is rotating with mountains in it, with rivers, deserts. I was like, wow, this God is really big. Wow. Ah, if this God is really big like this, so what is this single said that I cannot take out of us for me? So I was brought out of my spirit. Then my dad already came back. So I, the next Monday, I told him that I want to go and do this test again. So okay, I want to go and do the test, go and do the test. Then I brought out not come back. That one day I went to do the test in the morning. I went to do that test. Before that one day, when I went to do the test, my dad called me. The apostle is around me. He's doing emergency, something. One morning like that, everybody just came out. He said, be coming, be coming, run back, so be coming. I said, I'm going to let them tell the, 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 the person that is doing the test, then they get finish, then I take my blood and I will call. So after I took my blood, I came in that morning, I ran to this place, you So I was, was praying, he gave down the house. Okay, I went to school with the bad things. Immediately I got into the, uh, what do you call it? The clinic at uh, Swan Street, part of there. The lady that I told the um, uh, reception, I want, to, uh, I want to get my test results. Let me say, when did you do the test? I said, yes, I was supposed to take it immediately, but I didn't come back. I went up. She said, okay, go to that room, go like the like six of people there. It's okay. Immediately, I got into the lab. The, the lady was carrying everybody's fire. I don't know, she was looking for, for a fire. I said, she was looking for a, a test that she wanted to give to somebody. Immediately, I opened the door. This lady collapsed on the floor. So, with the fire on her hand, everything fell on the floor. I was like, ah, I don't know what to do. This one, I'm not funny. So, they were like, guy, yeah, where's the guy? You know that? This girl, don't fall here. This time, you have to find something. So, I said, wow. I don't know. And she said, they went to look at the camera, which maybe I gave you something because the lady was FTP. She just fell down. They rushed the doctor. They called the doctor. Doctor, come and rescue this girl. They now took the lady to the room. So to me, I was looking, I don't know what fair, I don't know what pushed from the way. I'm here for my test. So they brought the test. 
as a good one to that she was a good man and they never but I thought that they give me this death. I don't see if it is still always there before, I will just leave it with them. So I don't know what I have to do, I don't know what I have to do, I don't because I did tell you that I also did the blood group. I know my blood group, I have done my blood group elsewhere. So immediately I told you that I was seeing AA. I saw
to this episode of your moment of recovery and we believe that you have been blessed by the word from the anointed servant of god apostle edmund have any questions comments prayer requests and testimony you want to share with us you can do that by sending them to the phone numbers and emails displayed on your screen for we are ready to hear from you we hope to see you in another exciting moment of recovery god bless you